What's up guys, we're back with some exciting news. There's something big is happening behind this sudden love between Google and Samsung. For the first time in six years, Samsung is ditching their Tizen OS for Google's Wear OS on their upcoming smartwatch. Yes, the successor to the current Galaxy Watch 3 is coming as tweeted by iCineverse. Both Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch Active 4 coming in Q2 of 2021. These new Galaxy watches could be using Wear OS because now we have some evidence to back that up. According to the information coming from XDA developers, they were able to find the evidence that the Wear OS is coming to a device called Merlot. This is the code name associated with the upcoming Galaxy Watch. The same code name was mentioned in the source code for the Galaxy Watch 3. This all points to the return of Wear OS on Samsung's watch. The question now is why is Samsung making this huge change? They have worked on their Tizen OS for so long. It's almost like a downgrade, but of course Samsung will be doing a whole lot on top of Wear OS. If there is one brand that can make the Wear OS great again, it is Samsung. The reason behind this move could be a deeper collaboration between Google and Samsung. As we know, Google is working on a mysterious chip called Whitechapel that is using Samsung's 5 nanometer architecture. We've also heard that Google could utilize Samsung's camera sensor for their upcoming flagship Pixel 6. Google has been using the same sensor as the Pixel 2 on their Pixel 5, so this upgrade needs to happen. Because of all these things, Samsung may have taken in this huge decision. Either way, it is super exciting. It's time to make the Google Pixel great again. And of course, the Wear OS. And the answer to all that is Samsung. Now, Exynos Party is on. Samsung is gearing up to launch three new Exynos processor. We're going to see an Exynos 800 series processor, Exynos 1200 series processor, and then Exynos 2200, which is going to be that flagship chip with AMD GPU. Samsung could be launching this new Exynos 2200 chip with AMD GPU inside their laptops and possibly with their Galaxy Fold 3. Also in the news, Samsung could be announcing their Galaxy A series on March 17. Apparently they have scheduled a live unpacked event. This is where we could see the A52 and A72. We actually have some new leaks regarding the camera of the Galaxy A52 and A72, so apparently Samsung is indeed using their new 64 megapixel lens with 0.8 micrometer size and for the first time it's going to have optical image stabilization. The ultra wide angle lens is also pretty wide coming at 123 degree field of view. We also have a macro lens and a depth camera sensor. We're also getting high refresh rate for the first time. This has been officially confirmed by Samsung as they have launched their Galaxy A32 4G with a 90 hertz refresh rate. This 90 hertz refresh rate is indeed coming to the 4G model of both A52 and A72, whereas the 5G models are getting 120Hz refresh rate. As great as these phones are, they're gonna face some amazing competition from Xiaomi with their brand new Redmi Note 10 series. Samsung has launched their A32 for $300 in India, which is actually the same price point for the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max model that comes with 120Hz AMOLED bright display, 108 megapixel camera. I've already done a full video talking about my thoughts on the Redmi Note 10 series. All I can say is that Xiaomi has set a certain benchmark when it comes to budget price to specs ratio, which is going to be very hard for Samsung to beat. Either way, I'm still excited for the A52 and A72. So that's all the latest news. Samsung's sudden love with Google has certainly raised a lot of questions and my curiosity, there's definitely something big happening behind the curtain. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the tech coverage and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.